Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to model an impella with Onshape. Impellers are used in a variety of applications such as pumps, fans, and compressors. They're responsible for moving fluid or gas from one place to another. Let's start with the first sketch. On the front plane, press N for a normal view to that, P to hide all planes, S for my shortcuts, I got that two-point rectangle there. Start at the origin, dimension the height with um, 68, the width with uh, 16. Draw one more rectangle here. Um, draw a construction line from the origin so I can place my diameter dimension here with um, 182 and a height of four millimeters. Now I'll um, sketch a Bezier spline starting from that vertex place the next one here and the third one and press escape so that bezier spline has this control point and is connected with that edge here and i can place a dimension between those two lines, an angle dimension of eight degrees. With I, the shortcut for intersection or coincident, I place that vertex on that horizontal line. Okay, my first sketch is finished. I exit that, go into the revolve, a solid revolve and pick those three regions revolving around that axis. Okay. I'll call that part here impeller and give it some distinctive appearance, some gray like this and next I will define a 3D curve um, for a path from a sweep for the blade so I'll do that with the helix command go to the third tab here circle Pick that circular, that bottom circular edge here. And um, input type, I take the pitch and condition height. I will define with a height of 64 millimeters and the target pitch with 222. All right, so that is here. You can see that curve here. And this I will use for my sweep path. Let's do that with a um, surface um, sweep. So the profile for that will be just one line. On the top plane, I start a sketch L, start from the origin, connect that here to that starting point, and then go to the sweep. I'm here in the surface tab, new surface sweep. Take that 
um, line and that curve. All right. I'll give that some different colors so we can differentiate better. Okay. Next, I will thicken that surface. Use the thicken command. Take that. Give that a thickness of 1.6 millimeters. Um, change direction here. Accept that. All right. So we get the impeller base, the base revolve, and the blade. Next, I will um, place a, a sketch on the front plane and um, cut into our blade. For that, I can hide the, the base body. Maybe show our sketch number one. And start that sketch on the front plane. Press N again. And um, start with the line command from this endpoint. Um, another line from that other endpoint here. And define the length here with uh, 42. The height with um, 6 millimeters. And then use um, a normal spline from those two endpoints. And pull that down here, pull that over there. With H, I give that a horizontal constraint. With D, I can dimension that handle here, give that 22. With E, for equal, I can dimension the length of that handle to that very same 22 dimension. And with another D, I can define the angle here with uh, 106 degrees. All right. And I want to um, intersect a profile with our blade. So with U, I can copy some profiles, this one, that one, this one here and the bottom one. All right, I'll hide the blade for a moment. I'll hide, I'll sketch, sketch number one. I'll hide that curve. So that is our sketch number three, fully defined. All right, I'll show the blade again and revolve, intersect this face around that axis, accept that, show that impeller again, have a look, and we see some Z fighting, meaning those faces are on the very same level, 
and that, that uh, will cause problems in the Boolean process. So I'll just take the um, move face command here with an offset option, one millimeter. Take that face and take that face, accept that. All right, so those faces are enclosed by our main body. Let's apply some fillets here. 0.4 millimeters. Take that edge and that one. This one as well. That one here and that one. All right. Accept that. Now let's apply that Boolean operation between those two bodies here. I'll change the color again. Makes it easier to see, right? And another fillet, two millimeters. Take that edge, which flows, allow edge overflow around our body. Accept that. Let's make a pattern of our blade, of that blade. Pattern, adding to our main body. That is what we want to pattern. Axis defined by that circular um, face. And I'll give it an instance count of 12. Take some time. And there it is, okay. For our axis, I'll place a sketch on this face with O. I'll make an offset to the inside of um, six millimeters. And with uh, Shift E, I go into the Remove solid face, this one, through wall, accept that, and there it is, our impeller. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it inspiring. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting CAD tutorials. Thanks for joining me today and keep modeling.